Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 4, Episode 1 of True Detective Night Country. As you can see, or you can't see because I have this black window up, give me five seconds. As you can see now, I don't know why they call it Night Country, like why they give it a name beyond just True Detective. I guess some shows do that. Either way, I thought it came out early because it says you want to watch True Detective Night Country? Click now. It's available. I click it and it started playing the season one, episode one of True Detective with Matthew McConaughey. We have to wait 60 more seconds. You can see if we refresh it at some point, it will be there. But just a little bit of information. I have not seen True Detective season three. I'm told it doesn't matter and it usually doesn't because I've seen True Detective season one and two. We did The Wire in full, all five seasons, and then True Detective. That was the first two shows I ever did on the channel. So somewhere on YouTube are the reactions to the original season of True Detective from like five years ago. I've never seen season three. I love Mahershala Ali, and I know that's with him, but I just never got around to it. And honestly, season two, I remember it had Rachel McAdams and Colin Farrell, but I don't really remember the ending, and I don't know if I ever saw the ending of season two. I just remember season one being tremendously good, but that's all I really remember. We have like 30 seconds, so let's prepare because I'm jumping right in. And then I'm going to edit it up for YouTube. Are we in yet? Nope, still season three. It's nine o'clock. I had to watch Gremlins, the animated show, and it was on Max. It was the first show that premiered on Max. So, I mean, that I'm sure had a great deal to do with it. But it came out like three or four hours late, and I stayed up specifically. I'm a massive Gremlins fan. I stayed up to like 3 a.m. to watch it, and it came out at like 6 a.m. I remember the sun was coming up, and I was still sitting here waiting. And like, I thought it was something wrong with my cable or Max because Max wasn't loading. And they're like, no, it's just Max sucks. I'm going to pause, and we'll see. And we'll give it like another five minutes. Of course, as soon as I turn off the camera, it popped up. We're in. As soon as I turned the camera off, it came back on. For we do not know what beasts the night dreams, what its horrors grow too long for even God to be awake. Alaska, 150 miles north of the Arctic Circle. December 17th, the last sunset of the Is it like caribou? Oh. 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 What the f it's not normal. This is reminding me of like the thing. Oh god, he's really being. Hey, Clark, he, it's, are you okay? He's joking. She's awake. What? What? I've been watching you. I love this song. UB40. The guy said she's alive. I thought he was joking. I need a signature. Come on, I have to get it back. Is, the fact that it's still playing that scene of Ferris Bueller means he is coming Hello, at almost the exact same time, unless it's on loop. It actually did like glitch like it restarted. A top. Where do we go? Very cool. I expected no less. I did not honestly expect the John Carpenter feels. Fucker's not gonna die. He's just too drunk to get up. Did you or did you not hit this man with a metal bucket? He broke my fucking nose! Hey, hey! You're under arrest for Fuck assault and battery? The yes. fucking bitch hit me! Yeah, this guy obviously is a born loser. I can't talk right now. Jody Foster. Well, this is what this place looks like. Hey, on the inside, huh? I love this dude. So no this vehicles are missing. Darker, so getting weird. And nobody's around. The guy that found the tongue, I'm assuming, called the cops? Why is that one scene playing over now? Morning, Chief. Is that something, or was it just a glitch in the player? Who's contacting the families? Lulu, but they're from all around the world. 
rare specimen. Yeah. So all their cell phones are left matter. behind. They all just vanished. Lose their cell behind. I'm There's thinking it was like the them. caribou. I like think they jumped off there. the cliff or something. This dude is up to something. This. Fire. Call central. You have your presents lined up. <laughs> lady. Oh, it's that lady. Hello. I like that lady. She's good. The actress. Is there anybody there? The frick? Hello, Travis. Enos. Welcome to the end of no. the world. No. You're a trooper now. You're not APF anymore. I'm sure you got some caribou to scrape off the road somewhere. You never even wanted to look at a file. Oh, Your yeah, I, I can't talk to you right now. To talk to you, Mrs. I'm, I'm going to call you back later. No, no, we need to talk now, like right now. Would she try to steal or something? Like, what's going on? This lady is pissed. You know where those videos end up? You end up on porn sites. You made a video that I had to watch. Oh, my God. Is this like a World War Z series or something? Is that fucking Stacy Chalmers again? Oh, I'm so serious. Stacy, you idiot. <laughs> Are you fucking drunk? Turn around. Come on. Oh. Turn around. Put your hands up right now. Oh. Move it. I told her you killed the mine. You kill Ennis. Do you believe in God? Yes. Mind if I ask why? My last tour. That reminded me of Pat's cow from Pet Cemetery. What's this between us? Thanks. Between us, thank you. Would you come over to my place, we eat some junk food, watch The Bachelor? Come on. I never should have moved here. I'm glad you're here, okay? Listen, I'm not like mom. I'm okay. I promise. I have much worry for that one. Oh, the drunk lady. Yes, yes, it's normal. Here we go. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Putting us all out of our misery. The fuck you are? I'm not letting a still drunk DUI out just because sometimes she blows you. Hey! You know, end of story. You know, for the record, I have a fiance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I need the... Yeah, this guy's in trouble. File. You got it. Do I? Yeah, it's at your place. See, he's Watch up to something. When? Soon. This young dude seems like a Ethan Hawke or like a Skarsgård or something. Why do I feel like something really bad's gonna happen? I mean, right now, something really good looks like it's happening for him. If you're the rookie, if you're the young guy, you're gonna have to do some shit you don't wanna do. Hey. Is this guy trying hey, to hide the file or is he just being a bastard? You wanna uh, go out, grab a fight? I promise I'll put He's gonna throw it out the window. So, uh... He throws it out the window. Probably shouldn't be so loud with the window. Let me see what you took. He got a picture, though. There's some mysterious, creepy, crazy shit going on. What is up with this dude? And she ain't even phased by it. That's even scarier. So this case is connected to Salal? No. Navarro was the first on the scene. Ann Masu Kotak. People called her Annie Kay. Stabbed 32 times. I knew about the dead girl out in the villages, but I didn't know about the tongue. Evangeline. And the song, if you listen to the words of the song, Bob? I always thought that was funny. People that don't share toothbrushes, but they'll have sister? sex together. You know, it's really stupid that we never talk about that day. Did something happen you know, to the you dad? Don't really have to be my mom, Liz. Oh. I think my dad would have understood. We're doing a lot of character setup right now, but I'm digging it because we got a lot of action in the beginning. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. Oh my God, she just poured Bailey's Irish cream into his tank. I don't feel bad at all for that piece of shit. She's awake. What the fuck was that? Is that an eyeless polar bear? What is going on? Electrical glitches again. Ma'am, hello? Like the she's first view. She's awake. That's the two now. And the polar bear is alive. And it has the no eye like the stuffed animal. Alright, what is going on with this lady too? There's like so many different things going on here. What the fuck is going on? Dances, like tribal dances or something. What is he pointing to? All right then. 
So you did look into the case, didn't you? Back then. Yeah, it doesn't mean shit. Dude. We're literally saying we could connect these cases, potentially. You don't really think they're gonna find them, do you? I hear they wanna believe some miracles. I love Jodie Foster. I, I dig this new lady, too. I don't know who she is. I apologize. I don't know her name. I feel like we're gonna get, like, a huge piece of a puzzle right before this ends. You didn't find her. You could see the disgust, the way they cut her. Poor girl's just lying there. And they still kick her. And I wasn't even here. You know who was here? You. You were here. You. Yeah, it's a lot of blame to throw at somebody. We got a call. They found something on the ice. Tell me it's the lady. Is it the old lady? Rose Her Agonel found yeah. it. Oh, she found it? What is it? What's in the ice? Hey, Rose. What are you, Missy? How did you find them? Travis showed me. Travis is dead. Rose. I know. As soon as I saw him being creepy and pale and no shoes and I'm like, he's dead, but what is it? It's the people, it's the guys. All right, everybody, that is it for episode one of season four, True Detective, Night Country. I figured in the beginning, they showed the guy about to shoot the caribou. The caribou went flying off the cliff. They went rage in their eyes as soon as night fell. And they were like almost psychically forced to, I don't know if it's mind control, I don't know if it's the nighttime or something in the air affecting their brains, but the caribou went raging off the cliff. So as soon as they showed the people in the John Carpenter-esque winter snow base, and then that one guy I thought was joking when he started shaking and he's like, she's awake. There's something else going on here. We found a tongue of a woman and there looked like a woman running around the base. I don't know what she has to do with it. Maybe it's the whispers because we keep hearing whispers in the show. There's like the whole thing. And then there was this mental connection that Navarro had with Jodie Foster, where she had the polar bear with the one eye. And then we saw a hand on her back that woke her. Now, maybe that was not actually physically on her back, but showing us what she was feeling. But Navarro and her had a connection at that point. Lots of mysticism going on. You could see that the one girl who's hooking up with the other cop's son, the younger cop. He is hooking up with one of the girls and she's saying, yeah, I'm trying to teach our son Darwin about the ways of our people. And the dad cop is kind of a douchebag. I feel like he's covering something up. He's definitely either just really, really bad at his job or trying to cover something up because he looked like he was like, hey, what'd you go in here and get? And he wasn't trying to give Jodie Foster the file, but it also could just be that he's a drunk and he's bad at his job and all the above could be true as well. I think it's all the above. I think he's bad at his job. I think he's a drunk and I think he's also covering something up because Navarro is like, we've never figured out this case. You were gone when the thing happened and you never figured it out. Now everyone's button heads about this case. But who was the girl? I guess it was Navarro's sister that she went and saw and she was like very unstable, had the same tattoo as the girl in the picture. Or am I missing something? Because she looked exactly like the girl in the picture that is dead got stabbed 30 something times and kicked and stuff. I'm thinking that maybe it's possible based on the fact we just saw a dead man, Travis, this old lady who I also recognize the actress, but she's like, yeah, Travis brought me here. The second I saw that guy out in the snow, I'm like, that is a dead man. And I don't know if he really was there or these are visions that are psychically connected. That's where I'm not sure what is real and what is not. It's almost Twin Peaks-ish, the way he was dancing and moving around and stuff. But would other people have seen him or was that something that was guiding her? Sort of like how Navarro stopped in the street and saw the polar bear. I don't think the polar bear was there. I think it was just her having this vision and it's conveying what we're seeing. You got to remember, or I am just going to let you know that I remember the first season of True Detective was very trippy. There was a lot of crazy artistic stuff going on. I loved everything about it. It was tremendously awesome. But a lot of that really wasn't going on. And I had to like kind of accept what was real and what was not. And I remember that as I'm watching this episode, even though that was like five years ago and I've never revisited it. I should probably revisit it. But the lady accepts that this is her husband and is like, all right, it's a sign. He points in a direction after doing this wildly insane dance. And now we find all the people that were in the base. They, like the caribou, must have just walked out into the night and froze to death and got buried under 
ice and snow. That's what I'm assuming. So I'm loving it. You guys let me know what you think. I'm going to go edit this up. You want to see more of what I do in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see these in full as soon as they come out. I will be putting them up on Patreon, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, hundreds of other movies and shows. We are also doing Percy Jackson. We just finished Rick and Morty Season 7. Full unedited link in the description for Patreon. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.